Hey everyone, I'm Cecil Laird. I'm Ian Fuego here. And this is your Horror Show News Editorial Edition. Yeah. Fuego, why don't you explain to them what we're doing? Ah, so basically, we used to always, well, pretty much the whole time, we would editorialize, loosen the ties right after. We have decided to start dividing this up for those who actually want to see that part of the video back here on our home channel, The Horror Show. Mm -hmm, absolutely. Yeah. So basically, you can go to Kings of Horror on YouTube and see us deliver the actual stories. And here, we're going to just mention what the stories are and then and basically discuss what we think of the stories. Yeah. So, Fuego, what's the first one we should leap into? Oh, well, as I loosen my tie, I am very excited about this new Tales from the Crypt show, but intrigued and not so much concerned, but just wondering how an hour-long ongoing, plus a half-hour anthology, plus another half hour of like weird little mini shorts from So fans. that two hour block is what That's Tales what from the Crypt is? Tales from the Crypt is presumably going to be the 30 minute the 30 anthology minute okay. installment as part of this larger horror block of content. So I'm always good with horror cool. blocks. I mean, that's yeah. uh, horror, when they're catering to horror fans, that makes me happy. Frankly. Yeah. So I'm not excited about the direction they're going with the M. Night Shyamalan version yeah. of the series. And but they're saying it's going to be campier too, like slightly more comedically tinged. But I guess oh, Tales from the Crypt often was too. So that Sometimes can't be it was. That. But, but it was not, like dark humor, though. Yeah, you know? like, yeah, and there were still some good scary dying. ones, though, without mm -hmm. that, too. So, I yeah. don't know. So, I'm not super excited goes. about it. Yeah, I'm, I'm more curious than anything else, hoping it's not going to be like a train wreck we can't keep our eyes off of. So True enough. Now, yeah. one train wreck I'm hoping to avoid is a bad Friday the 13th installment, which... Uh, they were all of varying quality. <laughs> they were indeed, but this new one, you know, it's got the writer that was behind Prisoners, which was mm -hmm. a really solid movie. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, uh, and it's got... Hall and what, uh, it was Hugh Jackman? Hugh Jackman, yeah. yeah excellent, yeah. excellent film. And then the director is the same guy that did... Unfortunately, he did The Last Witch Hunter, which wasn't great, but... He did also do the Crazies remake, which mm -hmm. was really good. Yeah. So I think there's an opportunity for some really cool stuff. The problem is the plot is very strange. It's like yeah, a, it's more a prequel, right? Prequel mm -hmm. origin-y, but it takes place across a couple of timeline, like decades and stuff. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you're um, supposed to see Jason's dad as well as his mom, from what I was reading. Yeah, so, exactly. Yeah. So who knows how it's going to actually turn out? But I'm optimistic. Yeah, it's a viable property, and I, I really think it's been too long since we've had one anyway. With how frequently they were cranking them out in the '80s, and you know. I love Jason. I want more Jason. <laughs> Absolutely. Who doesn't love Jason? Yeah, exactly. Now, so uh, I know you didn't exactly love the Salem show. Did you watch the first season? I watched the two? first season and a half, yeah. frankly. I just never got around to finishing the last, like, six episodes of the second season because yeah. it just got a little boring and everything else came on instead, and I just never got back to All it. All this new awesome horror programming you that's know, which, taking our attention away. <laughs> which stuff has just never been that much of a draw for me in the horror genre? You've I, mentioned this a lot, I, actually. I have. I have. It doesn't... It just doesn't catch me the way that everything else in the horror genre does so it was yeah. it was almost like homework when i was watching it and when it becomes like that it's it's yeah, never it's good it's tedious it's not fun but yeah. i mean when i saw the first season i enjoyed and i guess in this current incarnation like the devil has come back and made salem like his capital of a demonic ruled world or something and yeah manson wow, that is, makes me actually want to go back and finish yeah it and I, I guess the witch succeeded in what she was trying to do the main witch hmm. yeah well yeah she kind of succeeded at the end of season one too mm -hmm. so it's interesting that they yeah. just keep having her win but that's the point of the show. It's making sense. This is supposed to be the Salem witch trials turned yeah. up to 11. So. Manson looks legitimately creepy, though. In the teaser they put up, that the 30 seconds or so, he's like licking anything. blood and looking all crazy and he stuff. He always looks legitimately creepy, even when he's in like a shirt and tie, I'm sure. <laughs> I agree. Hey, you he can't help it. He, he loves playing that stuff up. So Now, uh, speaking of a, of a property we both actually familiar mm -hmm. with, Doom, yeah. you haven't played the newest game. I, I did play the newest game, the and it's now. awesome. I love mm -hmm. the property as well. So I am definitely interested in Doom the board game. Yeah, hey, if they're making an Evil Dead board game, why the hell should they make a Doom why board not? game? Absolutely. Too? I don't know about I like the tabletop 80, I don't know stuff. about the $80 price tag, but yeah, are they going to have like stone figures I don't with know. the demons in they there? They better or be hefty or something, yeah. but uh, cool but I'm still interested to see how it goes. Apparently, it's like four players mm -hmm. and there's three Marines or UAC Marines mm -hmm. and there's one person that plays like the infiltrating demon or something like that. I, I think that's what I was reading. It could be wrong. Go and check it out yourself. Just Google Doom the board game and you'll be able to find the article I did that actually has some pictures that we've been putting up and stuff no. of what it's going to look like. But I'm interested. Yeah, I would totally get on that, man. Tabletop, let's film it. Let's do it. Yeah, Calm absolutely. Down. So uh, the first story that I reported on was this American Death Note because there's been like three or four different... Japanese Death Note movies, but this is the Americanization, like we're about to get for Ghost in the Shell and 
never got for Akira. I'm still waiting on that one, but I'm genuinely excited with Willem Dafoe in anything that he does because he's an awesome actor. He actually, here's the thing. He even looks like that His guy a face bit. <laughs> looks very much like Ryuk does. Yeah. However, I don't know how they're going to pull off because Ryuk is essentially a dude that's dressed in a black leotard with mm-hmm. feathers around his na- and neck and like wings. Floats around. Yeah, and he floats <laughs> around and he hovers behind them the whole time. And mm-hmm. it's that's going to look really weird to see a floating Willem Dafoe. Well, like, I know they said it's supposed to be just voice work, but I'm curious if there's going to be some mocap as well. Oh, or if it's gonna be totally they're going to make him CG. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Okay, that would work way better. Yeah. Because, yeah. yeah, yeah I could you say, guys he, under, the idea of a floating Willem Dafoe just sounds ridiculous. Prancing around, though, I'm thinking of Boondock Saints, where he's at the crime scene. And True. He's just, dancing about and being all silly and stuff so hey great talent and in addition to this i mean and wingard he's hot right now man i don't know he's so hot right now wingard's so hot right now (laughs) you know another thing that's that's going to be hot again Mm -hmm. actually much like wingard has risen from the ashes i'm hoping that resident evil for its final chapter will rise from the ashes as well because they have sort of varied in quality i've enjoyed on and all of me. them, basically, yeah. but some fun, of them are but... definitely weaker than others. Yeah. But I'm excited for Resident Evil, the final chapter. That is the final story, is that they dropped the trailer for that uh, new film. And Which you can I'm see excited. a reaction of here on our channel. Absolutely, yeah. check that out. But basically, Alice is going home, back to Raccoon City, which is extraordinarily destroyed yeah. at this going point. going full circle. Absolutely, and we're going to see some familiar faces, like... Ali Larder is supposed to reprise her role. Last yeah. time she showed up was in the 2010 edition of Resident Evil. I want whipped cream with that. And then apparently we're going to see Wesker join mm-hmm. up as well. Yeah, and I'm guessing that's going to be the unlikely ally that they were mentioning in the press release. Maybe. Yeah. So I am He's interested to the see... the whole series, it seems. Like. Yeah, well, yeah. absolutely. That's his job. Yeah. But uh, I'm excited as hell for this. What about you? I love the series. The film's a little bit less, but the, I mean, all of the mythos they built and then just expanded upon, and they went their own way at times and I enjoyed the series more when it stayed video game faithful. Mm -hmm. That's why the second one was my personal favorite where you got some Jill Valentine and all that. But just going back to Raccoon City instead of being in some weird other facility I've never heard of, I'm more intrigued than normal and the trailer looks badass. It does indeed. So, Well, I think that's going to pretty much cover it for our editorializing for the stories this week. Thanks very much for joining us, you guys. Let us know in the comments below if you're interested in any of these stories in particular. Do any of them tickle your fancy? Are you excited about anything or are you particularly not excited about any right. of them. And if you we want, want to, to know see, that too. Yeah, and if you want to see the news proper, jump over to Kings of Horror and make sure to like and subscribe and check their stuff out to independent horror of all kinds of awesome varieties. Absolutely. So thanks very much for watching. I've been Cecil Laird. Gracias. I've been Jaime and Fuego. And until next week, remember, stay, stay scared. scared.